welcome to Today on the Green. We're your host. I'm Bridget, and that's Evie. No beards! No beard, because today is National No Beard Day. So if you have a beard, shave it off, mm -hmm. and sell it on the dark web, because you can make a lot of money that way. Mm -hmm. Anyway, today we interviewed the 4A students, and they talked about how much they hated being on camera. Hmm, sorry about that. Anyway, let's see what they said. I am here with Christian and Dana, who is our arts and activities for a winners. So I have a quick question for you guys. How scary is it being on film? It's terrifying, actually. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a story that leads up to that or it's just it's just insanely scary for you? Just uh yeah. In general right now, okay. I feel very uh very scared of this whole situation. Oh, I know. But I mean um, I often have people tell me I'm a good public speaker, but uh -huh. in I reality mean, you I are just yeah. uh I just kinda black out whenever I speak into a microphone and so I'll yeah. probably have no memory of this in about five minutes. Well, how about yourself? Um, yeah, it's really scary. I remember in video one, we had to like do a lot of um, projects like in front of the camera and I hated it because I hate being on camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's why she's an editor for <laughs> our video class. So yeah, thank you guys. Thanks to all the 4A students who came in and got interviewed. Maybe now you'll be one step closer to facing your fears by having cameras stuck in your faces. Hmm, fear therapy works for me. Today is Wednesday, so you know what that means. We sent Andrew and Ethan to go check out Mr. Bird's classroom. Let's see what they got. Who need a cribs? Ethan. Yes, Andrew. Who will we visit today? Mr. Bird. Let's go. Let's go. I'm looking here. Bye. Hey, it's Benita Cribs. Come on in. So here is the band room, one of the two rooms that I work in. Uh, here we've got a whole bunch of uh, trophies for all of the different competitions that the band has participated in over the years. Uh, we've got our lost and found and sync area. This is kind of the general area where I conduct the class from uh, and access the computer. We got Mr. Yoder's office here, and then we've got our whiteboard with all of the information that the marching band needs to know on a regular basis. We've got our dates, we've got sectional time, scores from our latest shows, and then any information that the rest of the group needs to know. Of course, we've always got stuff up on the projector and uh, happy to have, uh, oh, totally lost my train of thought there. <laughs> um, so we've got, um, this is my main area where we've got all kinds of uh, stuff that the kids can get to, uh, instrument repair tools, uh, megaphone for the drum majors. Um, coming through the room, we've got our schedule, some pictures of the group. Uh, that's a sign that we got from the smudge pot that the band was very proud of. Uh, coming around the room, we've got our instrument storage cabinets. These were all painted by a student who did their uh, Eagle project back about 10 years ago. That was Matt Nia Paris, and so we really appreciate him doing that. We store all our equipment here. Uh, uniforms go in the uniform closet back here. Uh, more instrument storage in the back. Um, percussion instruments are all over here. We've got the percussion closet over here. Rhythm section for the jazz trumpets uh, store their instruments back over here. Holler Guard pretty much has this front corner of the band room. And that's pretty much the band room. Uh, we've also got the history of rock and roll room, so we're gonna bounce over to 809 and check out what's happening over there. All right, we're over in the history of rock and roll room 809. I also share this class with uh, Mr. Lanny, who has CIS in here, uh, first and second period. But we come in here with AP Music Theory and History of Rock and Roll. Um, this class is decorated to try and represent all the different musical styles that we cover throughout the course of the year. Uh, when I first started teaching here 20 years ago, I invited the students to bring in a poster to represent their music. And so all of these posters were donated by students over the years. Um, next year, we're going to actually have to make a big overhaul because we're going to offer a history of hip hop class. And so we want to get some more hip hop rep representation into our classroom. But all these posters have been here for some of them for 15 years. 
and again, they represent a lot of the different bands that we're going to be studying throughout the course of the year. Uh, and then we got some trinkets over here. Uh, of course, I love to collect action figures, so we've got our um, our Eddie for representing Iron Maiden. We've got the police in pop dolls. We've got our Kiss uh, lunchbox, which you got to have in your Ozzy bobblehead doll, and of course. Wayne and Garth uh, representing Wayne, uh, Wayne's World. Cool. Uh, we got a, we're doing a research project right now, and so all these materials are here are for my class to do research for uh, their classic album that they're going to do a research paper on and give a report to the rest of the class. Uh, we've got mo more posters out here on the wall. As we come across the front, uh, we've got our posters of Led Zeppelin and Slash. Again, I use those as uh, visual cues uh, throughout the year to teach people about uh, the different parts of the guitar and how they all work. Over here, we've got our Kiss action figures, um, our bell schedule once again, and this is my desk area. We've got, of course, the classic prog band Rush. You can't uh, get enough of Rush. All my CD collection, um, all my research materials. I've read most of the books on here that you see. How I kind of develop my uh, knowledge of the history of rock and roll, and I love to share all of that information with the rest of the class. And then as we wrap it up around uh, the room, we've got some more posters, some guitars, but I do use them as uh, visual cues from time to time. And that's pretty much the history of rock and roll room. Thanks, Benita Cribs. I really appreciate it. Ethan, Andrew, Mr. Burt had two classes. That was, they were both very cool. And what was your favorite part about him? Get out of the road! Hey. I liked, um, personally, I really liked his rock classroom. Yeah, more than his band classroom? I'd say so. I think I think there was more cool stuff in there. Yeah. Well, maybe the audience can view in next week. They could. On. Put in the cribs. What a dope classroom. Mm -hmm. Speaking of music, tonight is the dance show. Yeah. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. So the dance show is tonight at the BCA at 6.30. So make sure to get your tickets at the booth. Yes, go. Mm -hmm. And that concludes today's episode of Today on the Green. Come back tomorrow to see what happens today on the green. Tomorrow. tomorrow.